Hi, I'm Kathy Davis, aka Nana Banana, the children's ministry. And I just want to share a little bit about my testimony with you. And I want to let you know that my, my mother was an alcoholic growing up. My father was like an absentee parent because he traveled so much and was away from home. So there were no boundaries in our family or anything. And by the age of 16, I had probably broken every single commandment that there was. But I had a boyfriend and he went to the Holy Land with his mother and he was going there to uh, cop some hashish uh, and bring it back and sell it. And um, he got saved in the garden tomb. <laughs> and it's like Jesus came into his life when he went in. And that's a whole nother hour story. But um, yeah, so he called me and told me and I thought he was high on this hashish that he was supposedly had brought back. And come to find out that no, he truly was saved. He came to Maryland and he visited me and he told me all about God and his love and his repentance, that Jesus, how much Jesus loves me. And um, because I had had an abortion in my life, I, I really felt like I wasn't worthy. And he told me, he said, that's why Jesus died for us. He died so that we could be forgiven and that we could have a relationship again with God because none of us are perfect. And so um, on June 19th, 1971, Bam! This chick was radically saved. You could call me a Jesus freak back in those days. And since then, I it, things were not peaches and cream and cupcakes and butterflies. Because I had just been born again, and now I had to spiritually mature. But I can guarantee you that Jesus never left my side. And I went through some trials and tribulations. I'm called the woman, uh, the woman that's been there, done that. And I just want you to know that he has transformed my life. I cannot imagine living my life without Jesus. So I love you all. And if you ever have any questions for the woman that's been there, done that, you can get in touch with me. I'm usually upstairs. Love you. Bye.